in the in the mix. So in this part of the of Bordeaux, you typically have uh, several grape varieties in the wine. It's not a um, it's there's not there's no such thing as a Bordeaux grape. It's not uh, you know the wine is made from a, a blend of grapes, and it's not because uh, the, the, there's a recipe that they want. They don't want you know the Merlot and riches of the Cabernet and soften this and add this and that in there. It's because um, they're they're hedging their bets. They're diversifying the portfolio because you're here on the on the North Atlantic. This is a dangerous place for viticulture because there's storms that come all the time. And um, each one of the grape varieties that they grow in Bordeaux has its own schedule of critical events in the life cycle. For example, bud break, then uh, flowering, then uh, uh, naissance, the, the fruit set, then the vilaison, the change of the color of the all this, the harvest date, and so on. And so, uh, it, it's a safety net to have, for example, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot in your vineyard because Merlot flowers 10 days before Cabernet Sauvignon. So imagine you have a vineyard. So Im imagine this, you have, you have two guys sitting in the bar in, uh, in uh, uh, Lisrach, and, and, and one guy sitting there, well, I'm a manly guy. I like Cabernet Sauvignon, that's the, that's the manly grape. I'm just planting Cabernet. And the other guy says, well, you know what? I'm not, I'm not so insecure that I need to be that manly. <laughs> and so I'm gonna plant Merlot and Cabernet in my vineyard and uh, half and half. And uh, so what happens uh, as the vineyards develop and finally here's, the, here's, the, here's uh, the vintage or the, here's the year when they're going to be harvesting grapes, they hope. And um, because Merlot harvests, remember, 10 days before Cabernet. And it happens that Merlot is flowering and it's a day like today. It's beautiful and sunny and, and 50 degrees and just a lovely day in, uh, in May when the, the Merlot is flowering. And, uh, and and all that makes makes everybody happy. And ten days later, the huge Atlantic storm comes and devastates the area for, and, and 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 there's no pollination of the Cabernet Sauvignon flowers that are open and vulnerable. So who has wine? The guy who has a little bit of Merlot. And so historically, what evolved in Bordeaux, especially in the Left Bank, is this. Um, uh, variety. So you have Cabernet Sauvignon, you have Cabernet Franc, you have Merlot, you have Petit Verdot, which is very important here because Petit Verdot gives low pH, high acid, black structured life. And especially important in these warm vintages because it ripens so late. It gives this, uh, this structure to wines that might otherwise be hot vintage, heavy, sweet, alcoholic, um, ponderous wines. It, 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 it can give give life, you have Malbec as well. So all these um, all these varieties, each with its own schedule, means that in virtually any situation where uh, the storms are coming off the Atlantic or a freeze in the uh, in April, uh, you, you will be guaranteed to have some crop. That's the reason behind the... Um